My name's Mike from Worcester Bosch Group. As the final part of the installation process, the commissioning of the Green Star Danesmont oil boiler is the most important. With much to consider, we've outlined our top tips to get this done quickly and easily. With this in mind, it's important that this commissioning is carried out by an off-tech engineer. Let's begin. First tip is to always check that there is enough oil supply of 28 second kerosene within the tank and that the pipework is connected correctly to the oil pump via the supplied flexible oil hose. Next, carry out a visual inspection of the boiler and the heating system. Ensure the flue is correctly fitted and secure. For example, check that baffles haven't been moved or dislodged during transportation. Don't forget to take a look at where the flue exits the property. To avoid potential obstruction from outdoor equipment, garden clutter or even bins. You may wish to talk to the homeowner afterwards to make sure once you've left, they don't want to obstruct the flue. Here you can see the double pipe subgravity feed system and single pipe suction lift with deaerator. When fitting the deaerator, it is important to prime the oil supply pipework to prevent damage to the oil pump. To do this, disconnect the flexible oil inlet hose from the isolation valve and place it in a container of kerosene. Then connect a spare flexible oil hose to discharge into the container. Next, open the isolating valve, turn on the power and set the programmer to on before priming the deaerator until there is a steady flow of oil. Finish by turning off the boiler and reconnecting the flexible oil inlet hose. Always fit a suitable pressure gauge to the bleed and pressure gauge port on the oil pump. Ensure the air shutter is adjusted to the recommended initial setting. Power on the boiler and set the programmer to on. The burner should then ignite following a pre-ignition period of approximately 15 seconds. Check that the pump pressure is as per the table in the manual. A top tip when taking smoke readings is to remember they may be inaccurate until the smoke from burning the organic binder has ceased. In order to get a true reading, begin by removing the sampling point plug and check that the smoke reading is between 0 and 1. If the smoke level is above 1, check the combustion settings and the oil nozzle is in good condition before repeating the process. Check the CO2 levels are correct to the advice given in the manual. If necessary, adjust the air shutter setting to correct the CO2s if required. Check the flue gas temperature to make sure it's close to the values in the table. This table in the manual will help you know the nominal boiler ratings and normal operating temperatures. It is important that the values are as closely matched as possible to the table for safety and to prevent unnecessary wear and tear. The first column details the oil pump pressure, while the second shows the fuel flow rate. These ensure the correct output is maintained and the correct flow rate is delivered to the boiler. It is important to remember that if the nozzle is changed, the oil pressure and air shutter may have to be adjusted. The flue gas temperature gives an indication that the appliance has been set up correctly. For example, as the CO2 increases, the flue gas temperature will reduce, showing that the appliance is running efficiently. CO2 must be set to the correct value, as too much or too little air will cause incomplete combustion that can lead to rapid sutting up of the boiler. The air setting alters the amount of air going through the burner, and the air damper disc optimizes this airflow. Finally, the table specifies the type of burner head. Burner head is an important component as it controls the airflow into the combustion chamber. Each head maintains the correct amount of oil droplets and air in order to give the best possible combustion rate for the boiler. That completes our rundown on top tips when commissioning a Green Star Danesmill oil boiler. For further advice or hints and tips, please visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel.